Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to the Spyro Reigniter Trilogy. Sure, it's been a while since I uh, did a, a legit episode of this um, on stream, but we are back, and we are on the second world of Spyro 2. So let's get started real fast. So for this part, we're going to be doing the overworld um, for this, this world, and then the first couple levels as well. So, we are here in Autumn Plains. We just finished up everything 100% from before. Um, I actually haven't recorded a part of this in like two weeks, so... It's been quite a while. Oh shoot, I just realized. I... hang on. Okay, we're good. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I realized I've been going through on like a practice file of this game, like timing out the episodes, just seeing where I, sh I should be uh, making the cuts and everything between episodes, and since I finished the game on my, pr on my practice file, I actually had the uh, infinite super flame that you get at the end of the game. Spoilers, I guess. Um, not really a big spoiler, but, <laughs> and I didn't want that because that's cheating, so I had to click to go turn that off. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. I find down here in this area, I tend to miss a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of gems that are just kind of tucked out of the way. That are really easy to miss if you're not careful. So I really encourage you to check every little nook and cranny, like, super thoroughly. Just to make sure you don't miss anything. Hey, well Laura. Well done, Spyro. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. That's pretty cool. Alright. So now we gotta talk to our favorite fat bear. Money bags. Legend the has it that there is a portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating it for a. Uh, a small fee. Vine. Take Thanks my money. For the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I could open a lizard burger shop in Skelos Badlands. That sounds like a great time. All right, Zephyr, we're gonna be doing that in the next episode because that level is freaking enormous. Seriously, I so I said it before. I was like going through and timing out every part. Um, the next episode, when I timed it out, it took me, like, almost an hour. Like, it literally is, like, 45 seconds short of an hour. And I only did, like, three levels, and one of them was Zephyr. Like, Zephyr alone took me, like, half an hour. Maybe longer, like, 40 minutes. That level is just absolutely gigantic, so... We'll be getting there pretty soon. But for now, let's head down this way. This is where we actually learn how to climb in the last part. Um, but obviously, money bags is gone now. So let's actually climb, use that ability, and climb up and explore the rest of the area here. This um, overworld is actually one of the most beautiful ones, in my opinion. I just love like the lighting and everything in this area. And you'll see, bef you'll see later. There's a area that looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, Alright, Scorch. That's a desert level right there. Funny enough, um, in Spyro 3 there's a boss whose name is Scorch. It's kind of weird. There's a level named the same thing as a boss in a later game. I don't know. Oh, Spyro, hello! I'm having trouble with this door, but I think some orb power might unstick it. Ah, I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. I think you need like eight orbs or something like that. Some ridiculously low number. And we currently have 22. So I think we have enough orbs to to open the door there. Now this level, first of all, look at this room. The whole like glow in here is really awesome. This level right here, Magma Cone, is like one of my favorite levels in the entire trilogy, really. 
So I'll be excited to get to that one. But for now, we get to pay money bags some more. little castle over there in exchange for a few gems? What do you say? Why not? No one's been through that portal in years. I never thought I'd find a sucker. I, I mean, <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Yeah, thanks, dude. You took my money and you insulted me. Asshole. And that, that's Shady Oasis. So, in case you haven't noticed, this world is absolutely massive. Uh, there's eight regular levels in this in this world two speedways and the boss so that's a lot that's a lot to do and of course the overworld and look who's here again four times in one overworld i would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge spyro love to unfortunately the speedway rules require me to charge a, a small fee You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Uh, he's trying to, like, compliment us just to make up for the fact that he's a bitch. It's not working. I see right through your through your compliments, money bags. You're an asshole. All right, down there is where, uh... I'll talk to Alora real fast. Why not? Spyro, Ripto and Gulp are hiding out in a sealed chamber in the castle below us. In order to get to them, you'll need all 14 talismans to break the lock. So there's our goal. All 14 talismans. So you, it's kind of like the eggs in Spyro 1, where you pretty much get all of them before you even get like halfway through the game. Although I guess here you, you are a little bit over halfway uh, when you finally get all, all 14 talismans. But still, like... The last world, there are no talismans. Not really sure why they did that, but... Eh. It works. Alright, this area is really cool. Well, the first first of all, just being able to get here, like, breaking that wall. That's such a cool uh, idea. Then you go up here, and this is the area that's really, really gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the mountains and stuff back there. Just take a gander. It's like floating islands out there. The light, like the shadows of the clouds falling on the mountains out there. It's just a really beautiful area. Now, if you look up there, you'll actually see there's a little, tiny little island with some, something sparkling on top of it. So we're actually going to fly all the way out there. It's like the longest glide ever. Make sure you hover there, otherwise you're going to overshoot it. And three purple gems on the same island. Ah, it's beautiful. Alright, then when you glide back over here, um, you're going to want to run all the way across this entire wall here. All the way to the other end. Because there is another secret. I have a couple of gems over here. Also, this wall. Breakable. Ta-da! How's that everything? No? Oh my god, of course. Okay, luckily it's down here. See, I told you. The gems in this area hide. They're really easy to miss. Where the hell is it? There it is. Gotcha, you little bitch. Okay, so that should be everything. Let's go into this this level. Skelos Badlands. This level's pretty cool. Actually, it's kind of weird. I mentioned a long time ago, back in like the first couple episodes, back in Spyro One, but uh. <coughs> Hmm. 
Now that was rude. That was a bit uncalled hey, for. Dragon, I hear you're pretty tough. I bet my cousin Glug, you wouldn't be able to make it through the Badlands without getting singed. Well, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose that bet, sir. Anyway, um, piss off. Um, so I mentioned early on in the playthrough. Uh, that my least favorite levels are like desert levels and my favorite levels are lava levels lava levels <laughs> lava levels uh, but this this one actually interestingly like combines them and the result is actually pretty awesome I am I am a huge fan of this level well for the most part there's one part of this level in the remaster oh sorry in the remastered that makes me want to fucking die. Let's talk about that when I get there. Actually, when I get there, I'm going to talk about it briefly and then pretend it never happened. And if you have played the remaster, you know, probably know exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about, bitch. That, what just hit me? What just hit me? All right, let's, okay. Before we move on, uh, you'll notice, actually, hang on, a couple of things. Uh, you wanna make sure you burn all the cacti in this level because um, if you break them all, you get a skill point. And of course, we're going for all the skill points, so we gotta do that. Spyro, our village is being overrun by lava lizards. Can you get rid of them before they eat my little buddies? I'll lower the bridge for you so you can get over there. All right, this challenge is pretty tough, actually. You guys all, these, these guys all hatch like in a certain order. And you've got to basically go around and uh, murder them all before they eat the little dudes. The little buddies, as you call them. Um, now, I've played this a million times, so I kind of know the order that they hatch in, so it's a bit easier for me. But your first time, uh, just a warning, this is really freaking hard. So... Well done, Grasshopper. Take this shiny uh, thing we found to aid your journey. Actually, that that particular one isn't too bad, but it's one of these two-part challenges in the second uh -oh. half. Oh, it looks like more lizard eggs are dropping down. Are you ready for another challenge? Yeah, let's do it. This one is hard. All right, so these first three you want to hit right away. All right, and then once this guy hatches, you want to hit him right away. Then that one right over there you want to hit. This guy is the one that causes the most problems. He, like, he goes behind the building where you can't see him. Thank you for helping us again, Spyro. You deserve another shiny thing. I was going to use it as a nightlight. But yeah, that those challenges are pretty tough. Uh, the only reason I got them like first try is because I've played this game so many times. But like, just a warning, if you've never played this before and you try that, you're probably going to fail a lot. Unless you're like a god, which I don't know, maybe you are. Alright, so... Uh, you'll notice around the level there's a bunch of these like little dudes with bones in their mouths. Uh, and you want to murder them all. Uh, we are good people. Murdering innocent lizards. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He's like, look at me. I can do a trick. Look, I, I can balance the bone on my head. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, look at me go. I'm going to catch it. Ready? Ready? Oh, I got it. Oh, you're so cool. Let me just murder him. 
So rude. All right, now there's a dude up in there, uh, but we cannot go up there right now because it's the floor is lava, literally. By the way, uh, wherever you are watching this video, the floor is lava for the rest of the episode. Because that would be fun, right? All right, hit this thing with three rocks and then get over there and not fall down like I just did. <sighs> nice. Okay, that. Three bones, and then... So now we're in the... This is like the main area for the level. Alright. This level's awesome, huh? Like, it looks fantastic. I mentioned uh, in Spiral 1 that the lava is like really, really cool looking in this game, and this is where it really shows. This one, and then there's a level in this world called Magma Cone I pointed out earlier. Uh, that one is also pretty badass. And I, okay, thank God I had that power up. So this is a new power up, uh, the invincibility power up, where you can actually like walk on lava. Pretty awesome. But uh, Spyro's, like, animation, or his uh, design, when you have this, is, like, the coolest part. It's amazing. Alright, this part, you want to time this really well. Because the bone will automatically land over here, but uh, it's easy to miss him when you fly across, and then you got to do it again. Just don't do that. Just time it right. These will sink. Again, just rush it. You'll be fine. That's five bones, three left. Ugh. Although that uh, that mission before with like the dinosaurs hatching, that's like the worst part of this entire level. So now that that's done, we're pretty we're pretty good. I'm so sad. Those pesky lava toads have stolen all my friends' bones. If you help me put him back together again, he'd sure be more fun. Damn it. I hate when people steal my friend's bones. Feel bad for that guy. Alright, this is the first time we've seen one of these things. Uh, like the little mystery jars. I should have gotten this before I went up in that cave, but whatever. Um, I'll talk more about that in a second. Excellent. You made it through the Badlands. I knew I'd win that bet. My cousin Gronk is a fool to bet against a dragon. Take this talisman for helping me out. It's a bone. The golden bone. But anyway, these uh, the mystery jar. Basically, every time you hit it, it'll show you a little, uh, like a little picture of where it is. So you gotta go find it again, hit it again, and it'll teleport somewhere else. So basically, you just chase it back to the beginning of the level. It's a neat mechanic. Just involves a lot of backtracking. Which, I don't know, depending on who you are, you might like that or dislike that. I personally don't mind, but... I can see why people would find it annoying. But I'm going to go do that right now before I forget about it. I tend to do that. I tend to like forget about... those. Oh, actually, now that I'm back here, I can do this. I, and I couldn't do this before. Make sure you get out of here before that runs out. Alright. But whenever these tend to pop up, I like usually forget about them. Then like I'll reach the end, end of the level and I'm like, where the hell are the rest of the gems? And then... Uh, I remember. Alright, that one's pretty easy. It only teleports like three times. The ones later on teleport a lot more than that. There's a couple in Spyro 3 as well. But you usually chase them back to the very beginning of the level. Alright, so now that's done, we can head back. Um, I'm going to climb up there next.
This level actually has uh, multiple skill points. So actually, two of them. So these four dudes up here, they like fly a lot higher than the other ones. So if you kill all four of them, you get a skill point. And that should be, yeah, that's the one from the cacti. And I gotta just murder all of these innocent uh, creatures. But I'm a good person. Although they do try to attack me, so. Now murdering the, the dudes with the bones, murdering them is kind of rude. They don't attack you, they just sit there and do little tricks. And then you just walk up and you murder them and destroy their lives. And steal their shit. It's kind of rude. Alright, but that's... Actually, I don't really notice. I don't know if they... In the original game, they used to give you an extra life whenever you get a skill point. I'm not sure if they do that anymore. I haven't really been paying attention. I don't think they do, because I'm pretty sure I didn't get a life just now. Unless I did, and I just am the most unobservant person. Which is totally possible. I'm kind of blind sometimes. Alright, make sure none fall off. Ha. Alright. Maybe I should have done that before I went back for the, the jar, but whatever. It takes, like, no time to get around this area, so... Hang on, was that a... No. I keep seeing the volcanic rock, like... It, like, shines a little bit, and I keep seeing it and thinking it's a blue gem. Playing tricks on me. Alright, now we're gonna head around here. I should have saved this for last, because... Or, I... Never mind, I shouldn't have, shouldn't have saved this for last, because the last, uh... Bone is up there. God damn it. Oh god. Okay, luckily, uh, lava is not instant death, like it is in a lot of games. Because I would have just been screwed. But once I get this last bone up here, it's going to teleport me back down. Which sucks. But, you know, whatever. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. A fairy left it with me a little while ago. And I don't care about your bone dance. I don't care. Please leave me alone. When I first saw that, I saw him doing that, and I'm like, how dare you put that internet shit, that, like, garbage dancing in my my beautiful childhood game. How dare you taint it with that... Ugh. Not even gonna, t not even gonna name it. It's like, it shall not be named. You guys watching all know what I'm talking about. But, now that that's done, we have finished the level. Got all the skill points. Cool. Something really neat about this second world, actually, um... Hang on, we'll watch this first. kind of rude. But anyway, um, I like the idea um, I like the idea of like cavemen having a camera. That's just weird. Kind of amusing. Anyway, uh, you notice a lot of the levels in this world like kind of come in pairs. So like the first two levels um, they're like Stone Age themed. So we had that one, and then we'll have another one. Same kind of characters, like the little caveman guys, but instead this one's an ice level. It's pretty neat how they did that. Like, you'll notice a lot of the levels ha are like 
related to each other. It's like, there's like two that are kind of miscellaneous that don't really fit in, but the other six in this world are like, they come in pairs. Wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. All right. Not fun. If you get on the catapult, we'll help you across the chasm. All right. First time I ever played this level, I don't know what I did. I like either moved or jumped or something like right before that cutscene started and it uh, there's actually a weird glitch I'll talk about later on in the in the playthrough near the very end. Um, but it actually like created like a double of Spyro. It like cloned it. It was weird. I mean obviously like it doesn't matter because you get launched over here anyway, you can't get back over there. But like, for a split second there were two Spyros standing there and I was like, what the hell? What did I do? Like, I've tried to recreate that glitch every time I play it, but I've never been able to do it, though. So, I don't know. I don't know what happened the first time. Watch! We'll help you climb this wall up ahead! Alright. All right, I tend to miss gems, like, in this area, so I'm gonna check around real fast just to make sure. On my, on my practice file, I missed uh, five gems near the beginning here. So now that I've checked it so thoroughly, if I miss five, I'm, I'm going to be like pissed off. Because you guys saw it. Not, there's nothing else there. I'll inevitably be missing something though. It always happens. All right, now down there, those little like green spider dudes, we'll deal with them later. It's a bit of an obnoxious mission. At least your first time doing it. But we can't actually do it until, oh geez, until we activate the power up in this level, which we can't do for a while. So we'll be backtracking a little bit for that. This is another area where I recommend uh, checking around like the edges of all these buildings because I tend to miss gems here as well. This whole level is really good at hiding stuff. <sighs> and if you saw, we have our favorite asshole up here. Talk Hello me. there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for... <clears throat> a small fee. A small fee. Yeah, shut up. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Huracos I've been wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. He's such an asshole. No worries. He will get what's coming to him eventually. Just wait. All right, I think I've gotten everything up here. If not, I'll be coming back here anyway, so. Got to cross the coolest bridge ever. I love how in this level, the, uh, well, in a lot of levels, like the floor is like so shiny. I don't know why. There's a couple levels in this, uh, in this game where there's like tiles and stuff. And the tiles are so shiny, it's like very aesthetically pleasing. Like you see like reflections in everything. It's absolutely perfect. 
very clean. All right. I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draglets. <laughs> I like um, awkwardly human names for non-human things, like a snow leopard named George. That's just funny. I don't know why. Look at him. It's cute. I mean, I'm personally more of a dog person, but can't deny that's a cute cat. So this mission isn't very difficult. It's just, it's just nice. Although you want to make sure you don't forget any gems here. I'm kind of rushing through this area. So basically, he'll go up to each of these uh, little uh, holes in the ice, and you're gonna burn a fish and he'll eat it and then once you do it three times he'll like follow you around so you just leave him back. Super easy mission but it's it's neat. I approve. Alright, one more. And now he follows you. And he smiles. That's cute. Alright. Let's go, George. Head back. I think you can go as fast as you want. He'll follow you, but... I like to take my time just to make sure he doesn't get like stuck on a corner or something. Alright. You found George! I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. Heck yeah. I love how no one in this universe knows what an orb actually is. They're just like... Yeah, I have this random thing lying around. Why don't you take it? It's like, okay. Like, you don't know what it is. So to you, it's basically just junk. And you're giving it to me for, like, saving your your pet's life. Okay. That seems... Kind of a rude way to repay someone, but... I mean, it just happens to be what I'm looking for. Every single time. Oh my fucking god. What's wrong with you? Stop! Like, what if I just gave people random shit that I found that I had no idea what it was and expected them to be, like, grateful? Thanks, Spyro! Just hold tight for a second and look out below! Think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball under my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. All right, so. We should be just about done, except for the, the one orb challenge I skipped before, so let's head back and do that real fast. I say real fast, but this could take a, a while, depending on how much I suck. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they're infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. You think you can get rid of them for us? Sure thing, dude. Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. 
<sighs> this one... I don't know, sometimes I get it really fast and sometimes I just don't. But basically... Well, you wanna... Try to get as many as you can. If you miss them, it's not a big deal. You can just make another lap around, but they'll start respawning if any are left, so... Like that, it's... I mean, you... If you miss one, you could just keep going, but you'll probably... Oh, it might be in your best interest to just turn around and... Get them anyway, but be careful because if the thing runs out over this, you're fucked. You don't want to be drowning in whatever the hell that is. You don't worry about the gems, just come back afterwards and get those. There we go. You have saved us all from a grisly fate. Please accept this orb as a small token of our thanks. Okay, he knows what an orb is. The other guy doesn't know what the hell this, this thing is. He just gives it to me. Why do some of them know what an orb is and some don't? Some of them are just like, yeah, it's this random thing I found. Why don't you just take it? It's like, okay. You're just passing off your junk onto Spyro. But that guy actually realizes it's like valuable and stuff. Strange. So don't even get me started then on like Hunter. He has like, I, don't, I wonder how many orbs he actually has in his possession. He just doesn't give them to, to Spyro until he like, he's like, yeah, I have this super valuable thing that you need to get back to your, your own world. But hey, want to play a game to earn it? It's like, no, why don't you just give it to me, man? It's like, it's important. And there's all my gems. 100%. Heck yeah. Get the hell out of here. a weird noise they make when they die. I mean, they're living snowballs, so their very existence is weird. I never noticed that, like, crystal effect here. Pretty cool. I approve. All right, let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> All right. Hang on. <laughs> So, if any of you guys have played this game before, you are well aware of a certain meme, of a certain mission in this game that has turned into kind of a meme. Well, it's your lucky day because that's exactly what I'm doing in this, this episode. We're just going to get this one out of the way. Also because Zephyr is going to take like a freaking million years and... Starting at halfway through an episode would be, like, a terrible idea. So we're doing Breeze Harbor instead. Excuse the mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First, they put out the fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship, too. If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. All right, so this area is pretty cool. 
It kind of reminds me um, of the music in this area, if you pay attention to it. It kind of reminds me of like a mixture between Beast Makers and like some of Nasty's World soundtracks from the first game. Is that just me? Or do you guys hear that too? Has like those like weird howling sort of sounds like from Be Beast Makers, but then like the actual instrumentation sounds kind of like Twilight Harbor from the first game. It's cool. Cool level. But except for that hell on earth you see up there. Honestly, people have the most trouble in the freaking world with that mission up there. I'm not going to talk about it until we get there too much, but like, I don't find it that bad. It's not easy, but it's not like the hardest thing in the world. Alright, there we go. So you're going to want to make sure you destroy all the little spike mine things. Like little floating metal dudes. Because you're going to get an orb for that. Instead of backtracking here, just, just kill him now. This, the one that was up here, you have to aim pretty well, like over this platform here, but you, you should be able to do it. Get an idea of where it is and aim it in the general direction and then change the elevation until you actually hit it. Alright, I find it easy to miss gems down here as well. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Coolio. Alright. That's lit, so we can head over here. I think Spyro's allergic to water in this game. Well, no, he's not. Can you, he, Spyro can swim in this game. But he can't be shot by water. So that makes sense. He actually gets hurt, and he can even die from being shot with water. Okay, look at this lighting here. Isn't that awesome? So cool. Those land blubbers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. All right, so there's your incentive. So, there, there's a chest back there, first of all. Let me get that open. And now I'll hit these guys. These guys can be kind of annoying, actually. There we go. Just find the perfect height to shoot at, and then just keep like rapid firing. Eventually you'll hit them. There you go. Now, before we move on to the next area, Let's quickly head around back through the level because the gems from that that chest are actually back at the beginning now. Alright. And there we go. It was right up there. And now we go back. That's what sound Spyro's feet make. Okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're getting pretty close to that part now. Actually, before we get too far in this area, though, the last four of these mines are over here, so let's get them real fast. Five, six, there's seven, and there's eight. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Gross. Clam juice.
You know, the lava in this game, almost the color of it, it almost looks like, like molten iron or something. The way it's like super, super bright like that. That's really cool. I love how everything in this game looks. I'm really sleepy. I think this is the only episode I'm gonna actually record tonight. Like, actually like playing through like farther into the game. Earlier tonight is actually when I recorded the, the, the parts from the very beginning of the game, like the first two episodes. Um, as I mentioned in those episodes, I had to re-record some stuff because of the audio issues I had. And I actually just finished that. So I went straight from Spyro 1, doing the first two worlds of that, to... Um, well, I, I, re I did that. I redid Wizard Peak, and then I did this now. Which is kind of weird, because you, you saw those other recordings, like... A month ago by this point, probably. I was assuming I upload at the schedule I'm aiming for. I'm pretty sure. Alright. And there we go. And the level is right here. There we go. Thanks for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. <sighs> okay. You all know what time it is, right? You guys who have played this game before? You know what time it is. Time for the goddamn trolley. Let's do this shit. Let's get this first. All right. How lucky for me that you came along. My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Can you hop on that trolley up there and collect them for me? <sighs> All right, here we go. Let's do it. The infamous trolley. Oh, shit. I don't know how I'm going to give commentary during this. I need to focus. There's one jump here that's like... It seems... It feels like you miss... Like, you, there's one gear you, like, miss sometimes when you jump over it. But you'll see when we get there. <clears throat> I never found this... Like, I found this mission pretty tough in the original game. But it wasn't, like, too bad. There's there's other missions in Autumn Plains that are definitely worse. Um, but, I don't know. I never thought it was as hard as people made it out to be. Now that I've said that, though, I'm probably going to fail. Unless I don't and I get this first try, which would be freaking awesome. The hardest part is yet to come. Uh, right here. Oh, thank God. Yes, okay. So I find that one part, the part where I had to blow up the TNT just now. Um, if you get one of these boxes there and you jump over the box, you t oh fuck. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, I missed the sign, so I didn't turn. Um, if you get a box and like you jump over that, you tend to miss one of the gears there, I find. So that sucks. And that should be it. Heck yeah, first try. That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore.
That's awesome. I can't believe I did that first try. See, I told you it's not, not that bad. It's not easy, but it's not that bad. I got lucky, honestly, with that that one part I was mentioning. I got a barrel, so that was easier to, to not have to worry about, like, accidentally jumping over one of the gears or whatnot. whatnot. Oh, man. That's awesome. I can't... That's awesome that I did that first try. I, that's like one of those parts of the game that everyone struggles with. Like, everyone dreads the trolley. And I dreaded it too. But it was in vain because I did it first try because I'm badass. Trouble with the trolley? Nope. No trouble with the trolley. Not today. Alright, so that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um... So for the next episode, we're going to get started on Zephyr because, and well, this is going to take a freaking millennia probably to do because Zephyr is one of the biggest levels in the entire game, but it's also awesome. So we'll get to that in the next episode. Thank you everyone for watching this part of the Spyro Reunited Trilogy. Uh, if you liked the episode, please show your support by liking the video. Also subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever I upload more Spyro videos. Uh, while you're at it, might as well comment about what you thought about the episode down below and make sure you tune in next time for more of Autumn Plains. So with that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye